Hey guys, it's Hannah from Guyana and today we're going to be making butternut squash and this is actually my first time making butternut squash but first we've got to make the roti so that it can soak in and then we'll start chopping up the butternut squash some flour Now some baking powder. The tiniest bit of sugar. The tiniest bit of salt. And I'm gonna give that a mix. Now we're going to add some water. Now we've got this dough, so we need to make the layers now, so we need to roll it out. I'm going to flour the counter a bit so that the dough does not stick. So people often like make roll it out and do the layers individually but my dad taught me to just roll out the the dough in one go and then oil it and then cut it up so that you can get the smaller roti Just gonna smother this on. This is so that the layers don't stick together and that they stay defined. And now I'm gonna roll it up sort of like a Swiss roll. I'm just gonna continue rolling it up. Now it's nice and rolled up. Now I'm going to cut them all into pieces that I think is about right for a roti. I normally do it too small though. So I'm going to cut it half and then cut it into thirds. Yeah. So six rotis, one for the each of us. So that is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. It's just like a Swiss roll. And I'm gonna pick up the side and push it into the middle like that. And then just push that in and pick up the sides, the sides and push them in.
So that's what they look like. And now I'm just going to do all of them. Now I'm going to leave all six to soak while I cut up the butternut squash. So now it's time to cut up the butternut squash. I've never actually cooked butternut squash before. So I'll see how it goes. So I've cut it, this bit off, now I'm going to peel it, alright, that's not too bad. I wouldn't say that's bad. So now I'm gonna peel this one. For my first time peeling a butternut squash, I don't think that was that bad. So now I'm going to cut it up. So what I did, I cut this bit in half and then I cut it into four and now I'm going to cut it like along the way like that. There we go. Now we're going to do the exact same on the other side. Now both sides are done, and now I'm going to do this bit. So first, I'm going to cut this in half, long ways. That was a lot easier. Oh, there's seeds in it. I don't know what I was, I was expecting. is one side scooped out. Now I'm going to do the exact same to the other side. So now I cut the bottom half into half so it's like a quarter of each now. And I'm going to half that again. And Half that again, and half the other one again. And now I'm gonna chop them up. I'm gonna do the exact same to this side. We don't have much space left on the chopping board though. Okay, now all the butternut squash has been cut up. I'm going to cut up the 
onion and garlic. some garlic now. Crush the garlic a bit and cut the top head off. It's really easy to peel. this morning so I'm not going to be making rice for dinner because I love rice if I'm cooking and it's something that would be like that's eaten with rice I'd love to have rice with because I love rice more than most people but that as I said that already cooked it so we're just going to be making the roti and butternut squash Okay, so first... So this is what the onion and garlic is looking like. I'm going to turn this on to capture the steam. Now that is looking. I actually put this on high because the butter was going to take forever to heat up. Now I'm going to put it back to medium and now I'm going to add the butternut squash. I have added the butternut squash and now I'm going to give it a mix but it's hard to do the camera hold the camera and do this so I'm going to take this off and then I'll show you the end product so this is what it's looking like I'm going to add a tiny bit of water so that it steams sort of I'm going to cover it and now I'm going to get started on the roti we 
So this is the last roti and this is what the butternut squash is looking like. I'm just going to leave it at that and take it off. It's delicious. Delicious. Don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Until the next time.